In this video, we're going to talk about a method of doing long division of polynomials. There's lots of different methods. This is just one of them. Uh, and the context that we would use this in is, say we had some rational function like this. Remember, a rational function has a polynomial on the top and a polynomial on the bottom. It's not immediately clear how I could anti-differentiate this. But what I could do is I could do the method of partial fractions. But in order to do the method of partial fractions, I need my numerator to have a smaller degree than my denominator. And see, my numerator is a polynomial of degree 4. My denominator is a polynomial of degree 2. So before I can use the method of partial fractions, I have to do some long division. Now the method that I'm going to show you for doing long division involves factoring out the biggest power of the bottom that we can. And by biggest, I mean let's take the leading terms in our polynomials and let's match them up. So what's it going to take to, to turn an x squared into a 5x to the 4? Well, I should multiply it by 5 times x squared. So if I multiply the entire bottom times 5 times x squared, this should give me a multiple of the denominator that I can pull apart from the top and then cancel. So let's multiply this through and see what it looks like. So this little polynomial here, 5x to the 4th minus 20x cubed plus 40x squared, is a nice multiple of my denominator. So if I could separate that out from the top, I could just cancel. So let's separate it out from the top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start by just writing down what I want, and then I'm going to fix it so that I haven't actually changed my fraction. This is the thing I want. And notice this takes care of my highest power. That's why I chose this particular multiple of the denominator. Now I have to fix everything else to make sure that my numerator hasn't actually changed. So my 5x to the fourth, that's the same on the left and the right. Minus 20x cubed, that's also the same on the left and the right. But then we get to the x squared term. I need 43 and I only have 40, so I have to add three of them. Now we get to the x and the constant term, and I don't have any x's or any constants here, so I need to add those in, minus 10x plus 29. Now I claim I haven't changed my fraction at all. If you simplify what's on the right, you should get what's on the left. That 40x squared plus 3x squared is going to give you 43x squared, for instance. But now what I can do is I can separate, and separating will allow me to cancel. I'm going to separate just along this red portion here. So looking at this left piece with the red, remember that numerator. That numerator is exactly chosen to be 5x squared times the denominator. So I'm guaranteed that my denominator is going to cancel out. What I have on the right is 3x squared minus 10x plus 29 over my original denominator. So notice on the right, now my fraction has a smaller degree numerator than it did before. Before it had a degree 4 numerator, now it has a degree 2 numerator, so we're making progress. But we still can't quite do partial fractions to it. In order to do partial fractions, the degree of the numerator has to be strictly less than the degree of the denominator. So I just need to do this method one more time. I want to take out the biggest power of the denominator that I can, and I'm going to do that by matching up these leading terms. So in order to turn an x squared into a 3x squared, I just have to multiply the denominator by 3. 3 times my denominator is going to give me 3x squared minus 12x plus 24. So that's what I want to pull out from the top. All right, so I have my 5x squared. And then this fraction on the right, I'm going to start with a 3x squared minus 12x plus 24. But now I have to fix it because I can't actually change my fraction. I can't make it into a different function. So the 3x squared, that matches. But I actually have a minus 10x. And I wrote a minus 12x. So I have to fix it by adding back 2x. And I actually have a plus 29. But I wrote a plus 24. So I have to fix it by adding back 5. Now I'm going to do the same thing I did last time. I'm going to separate so that I can cancel. Now that I've separated, this red part, remember, is just 3 times the denominator. That's why we chose it. 
So this whole fraction here in the middle is just going to give me a 3. Now what I have is a quadratic equation, 5x squared plus 3. And if I were thinking about integrating, I could absolutely integrate this, no problem. This piece here, I could do partial fractions to, because the degree of the numerator is strictly less than the degree of the denominator. The degree of the numerator is only 1, while the degree of the denominator is 2. So that was one method of doing long division of polynomials.